Hey everyone, in this video I want to show how you can read and write Onyx model files using ML.NET. Now first of all, what exactly is Onyx? It stands for Open Neural Network Exchange Format, and it basically lets AI developers move models between different deep learning frameworks. So, for instance, you can build a model in TensorFlow and you can predict on it using PyTorch. Or in this case, you can build a model in TensorFlow and then read it in ML.NET to make predictions in a production app. So let's get started. I'm in Visual Studio here and I have a project already open and I already created an ML.NET pipeline here. And this is using the, the salary data set that we've used before. And it's a very simple data set just so we can show just how exactly to use the Onyx without having to worry about the data too much. Down here, I uh, create the model with the pipeline.fit. And in order to convert to Onyx, we actually need a NuGet package to do that. Microsoft ML.onyx. And what you're going to need is the Onyx converter package. And then in your code, what you're going to have to do is you're going to need to create a file stream. So do using stream do file dot file dot create. And we bring in this namespace. And I have a, a class variable here named model name, and that just gives it the name of model.onyx. So with the file created, I can use my context, that model. And then on here, with that NuGet package installed, we have this convert to onyx method on it. And with that, we pass in the model. We give it the data and then the file stream. All right, let's run this real quick and see what we get. There we go, and see it created this model.onyx file in our bin directory. So that's real pretty easy on how to convert a model, an ML.NET model, into an Onyx model. But what do you, if you want to use an Onyx model within ML.NET. Well, with that, we need another NuGet package, and this time it's going to be this Microsoft.ML.Onyx transformer. So we install that. And back in our code here, we're going to do context.transforms and then we'll do apply onyx model and then we'll just give it give it the model name and since it's already in our bin directory it can find it and then with that estimator we can fit on some new data and create the model there so let's take a look Go and found the model and created our estimator. And created our new model. It's an Onyx model here. Look at our inputs, and it has the same inputs that we gave it when we created the model earlier. So that's just a real quick 
video to show how you can create and consume Onyx models within ML.net. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Thanks.